Today I'm going to be looking at a program called 360 Desktop. So first I'm going to take you to the home page, which is right here. And it's a free download. And you want to go over here to the download section. And it tells you the minimum system requirements. And whether you have a 32-bit or 64-bit uh, version, to choose which one you want to download. And then open up the program after it installs. And this is some basically what you're going to see. It's going to look something like this. And I notice that you kind of have to put your icons on there, your desktop icons. And I just done that by going arrange icons by and then put name. Which is somewhat of annoying. I don't know why they wouldn't just automatically be there. So anyway, uh, the biggest feature about this program is, is the ability to move your wallpaper like this, 360. And up here is your little navigation screen, which gives you the entire, um, I guess, panoramic view of your desktop. And you can just hold down the, the mouse button and side scroll like that. But it doesn't seem to be very smooth and it makes when you go it makes your desktop icons flicker so it doesn't look like it's very smooth uh, with transitioning like that and another way you can also do this is you can just simply click in a certain area like here and it will take you all it will just automatically take you there and a third way you can do this is just to come up here and hold that down and do like that and it will just automatically uh, go from one side to the other. Again, this could be a little bit smoother. So right here is uh, gives you some options. Uh, first is the speed, at how fast that this transitions like this. You can go uh, fastest or slowest. And then it gives you some options over here uh, that you can look at. One is pan my icons. Like I have none of these checked right now. But if you check pan my icons, what basically happens is, is when you scroll, your icon stays um, stationary to the wallpaper. So when you scroll, your icons will scroll right along with it. And then you can, then it comes back like this. Now you can choose to. Uh, uncheck that and it will leave your icon stationary uh, on your desktop also it, there's a if you check the PAM applications it works the same way say you open up CCleaner it's here uh, you can come up here and it will move your application along with it So you can uncheck that or check it, however you want. And there's a couple more little icons here, um, or options rather. Uh, show apps, location, and the quick navigation, which is the quick navigation is this little, is this view up here. So when I check that, you can see up here that it's got wherever your application is located on the desktop, it will show it up here. And which is really more useful if you have the PAM applications where if you scroll your your applications move on and off screen. So you can check that or uncheck it. And it gives you a couple more little things here. Uh, the side panning sensitivity, I'm really not sure what that exactly does. Uh, I'm just, I've tried setting it either way and I'm just not real sure what that does. Uh, a snap to view, if you check that, uh, you can, it'll just take you directly to wherever you want to go without scrolling to it, if you, as opposed to not having it checked. And then after you go through some of those, uh, you have the option to go to your 360 manager 
and this basically has any any wallpapers that you have uh, it'll list them here and then you can show them or delete them let's say you want to use this fish aquarium you could just click on that and it automatically comes to the fish aquarium which again uh, you have to put your desktop icons on there and then that could be a little bit of an annoyance so that's one thing I don't like about it there too and all I do is just put arrange icons by name and then they'll show up and you can also add widgets on here I haven't done too much of this yet uh, I really haven't focused too much on the widgets part it's basically the same way as if you want to add um, add these new backgrounds and to find these backgrounds uh, come over and help and go to uh, the 360 desktop website and once you go to their website come up here to gallery and it will give you these different backgrounds to choose from and there's all different sorts of ones that you can choose uh, let's just say I wanted this one right here you would just click on it and then it'll give you a, uh, a little bit about the background and then you can just download it and once it's downloaded it will automatically uh, be set to background which again is a little bit of an annoyance because uh, I'm not sure if you can change that to where if you download it it will just go to a file and you can choose it. I'm not sure if you can disable uh, downloading a new one and it automatically being here but that's how you get uh, different ones and there's actually also another feature that you could create your own uh, you can create your own but you have to sign in like in a user account type deal and again there seems to be a problem with these desktop icons because now they're over here and you kind of have to keep uh, refreshing them basically uh, click the arrange icons by so that's pr uh, somewhat of an annoyance there to have to keep doing that but all in all um, for a free program definitely not too bad it's a little bit of a change of pace uh, I don't really I wish it could be a little smoother the transitionings could be a little smoother uh, all in all not too bad um, it's not it's pretty easy it's a pretty simple interface and uh, so that's it that's that's a brief overview of this 360 desktop and by the way when you're done with the program you can just simply exit out and it's gone back to your normal desktop and that's it that's a review of 360 desktop